Hi guys, my name is Rin. I am your new Hapa United moderator. Yay! Um, I am 19. I'm mixed with Spanish, French, Japanese. <laughs> That's a lot, I know. I always get the, how does that happen question. I don't know, but here I am. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't really know what to do for an introduction. So I'm just going to give a very stereotypical introduction. I have four dogs, and my hobbies are singing, badly, writing and drawing, also badly. <laughs> but that's, that's about it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try to talk about things that I think affected me growing up as a hapa. Uh, but I think for the most part, growing up as a hapa is pretty much the same for everyone. Just mm, maybe at different times and and whatnot. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what really makes it makes people able to be closer to other hapas is that if they're the same, but I'll still give you a bit of a story anyway. <laughs> so, when I was little, I would grow up around Japanese people, and as a child, I didn't notice it. Obviously, I didn't really notice race. It was just, they were my friends. And then as I started to get older, I started to feel uncomfortable or like I didn't fit in. Um, for lack of a better way to put it, I always felt too big or too small. If I was at my friend's house, or if I were at my friend's house, um, Japanese friend's house, then I would feel like I was too big and I was just, I was the foreign friend, the white foreign friend. And if I were at my, um non-Asian friend's house, I would always feel like the foreign friend. Still, no matter where I go, it's always the foreign friend. So I couldn't really escape that, and I started to feel very not accepted by um, any race. I didn't feel accepted anywhere. And I got to a point when I was little, um, that I just, I hated anything Japanese, I didn't want anything to do with it. Um, if anybody asked if I were mixed, and, um, or happened to know, but just didn't know with what, um, I would just say, like, Korean or something instead of Japanese. I didn't want anything to do with Japanese at all. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't want anything to do with Japan or Japanese or whatever. And then when I went to um, high school, um, no one believed that I was mixed. And I, just, I hadn't really had that happen, or at least I hadn't been. I don't know. It just. I hadn't really been thought of like that, I guess. I don't know, it was just weird. Um, and I went into school, and I think I was the only white person there. And so I felt, so I felt very left out that now, um, in this school where everyone is either Asian or black or Hispanic or a mixture of those three, maybe white, I, I felt like, I felt, I felt really bad. And when I would hang out and my friends would start talking about their racial background, I remember this one girl, Bethany, got really upset and she looked at me and she pointed and she's like, well, she's the only white person here. I don't know why, but that really upset me and it made me feel like terrible. 
so I, I just wanted to cry and I think it's a, it was at that point where I suddenly didn't want anything to do with my white side. If I could have right then, I would have just been like full, full blown something. Um, I think I would have preferred to be like full Japanese or full Native American or full something, full anything that wasn't white. I would have what I would have given throughout high school to be full of something that was not white. Um, and then when I started to get into like the upper, like my f well, I guess it was middle school and not high school. I I don't I don't have that in my head anymore. It's been too long. <laughs> but it was in middle school because I think it was um what you would call eighth grade, um year eight or so. And it was in my first year of actual high school that um I met a few of my my friends and I still felt different but I didn't feel like it was different in a bad way. Um <clears throat> I would hang out with um my Vietnamese friends and I would feel more comfortable with them because we liked the same music. I just made me a little bit uncomfortable but it was it was fun and I felt more accepted by her and she was like, Oh okay, you're half as cool and that was it. I wasn't judged upon it or anything. <laughs> Sorry, my voice gave out. I had to take some new water. Um, yeah, I just have a big, what used to be tea, uh, jug to put water in. <laughs> um, for my voice. Um, but yeah, no matter what I did, I always felt like I was constantly the white girl trying to fit in with these Asian friends when I really have no idea what I'm doing. I always felt that way. Mm. And then, when I would go to a non-Asian friend's house, I always felt like, I don't think they were really treating me this way, but it's just how I felt. And I always felt kind of like, I was a weird foreign exchange student who didn't know how to do anything, so they were trying to do it all for me and explain it. Oh my gosh. One day, somebody asked me, do they have crackers in Japan? What? First, out of all the questions you could ask about Japan, you ask, do they have crackers? And secondly, yeah, we have crackers in Japan. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not, I was kind of baffled, but I was also kind of amused. <laughs> anyway, off topic. Uh, here's my dog. She wants attention. Say hi, Annie. So, yeah. So, those are a few things that happened, and I know this is getting way too long for anybody's own good. And um, as far as family, I will, I'll try to talk about family really quickly. When I was little, I didn't notice anything. I was just, whatever. I was, I was treated a a bit differently than I would say my other family members, but um, I didn't notice until I got older again, and I I didn't like any of the things they liked. I didn't act the way they acted. Um, they were all mm, my mom's family. This is my mom's family. I feel very left out at gatherings because everyone's like, "Oh, well, you're only half. Why aren't you just into this stuff? You need just to be like us." And, um, my dad is very, very white. If it were up to him, we, I would just be white. That's it. Nothing else. So, um, it's kind of really hard, especially when everybody wants you to be 
people like completely so much. Just being different and feeling different and knowing that you're different. It, it was just kind of, I don't know. I, I never felt happy growing up because I always felt different. But um, this has gone on a bit long. <coughs> And my voice is starting to take a bad turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you some family pictures. I had such light hair when I was little. I wish it was still that light now. Mm. Yeah, my hair's dark now. <laughs> but yeah, here you go. <laughs> Thank you.